Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about ignoring the voice of reason. All right, so here we are, January 31st, the end of the month, the first month of the year. So I guess we're 8.3% of the way through the year, right? And I have to tell you, for me, January has been tough. Like, it's been, I've been hit with a lot of things this month. I won't go into details, but like, it's been an up and down month. And it's probably been more down, actually, but I'm still optimistic. We're still at the, the beginning of the year, and you know, some things you, could, you can control and some things you can't. And um, yeah, I'm still optimistic. But the one thing I'm very proud of this month is that I've been able to do the videos five days a week. I mean, I nearly missed it today, but that was one thing I've, I wanted to do at the beginning of the year is like, I want to get back into doing daily videos, right? So back in early 2017, I started doing the daily overpass. I was doing five days a week through most of 2017. I think I took Christmas off and some, some weeks I would miss a day, but uh, for the most part, I was able to do five days a week and, and I enjoyed doing it. And then in 2018, I thought, well, screw this, I could probably do seven days a week. So then I started doing seven days a week, right? And the whole thing about the channel was not that I wanted to have this well-edited, well-choreographed, or I go do a bunch of research and as a bunch of tutorials. It was like, if we were sitting, if we all worked at the same technology company and we were to sit down at lunch, what kind of stuff would we talk about? Like, what's your opinion about stuff? What's my opinion about stuff? You know, what, what have you played around with? What are you excited about? That's what I wanted the channel to be about. But last year, um, in about April, is when I stopped doing the daily video. I stopped doing the daily overpass, and mainly it was because someone suggested it to me. So it was like it, a whole bunch of stuff was going wrong. I, I lost, like the, the business started to tank a little bit, so I got rid of the, the Mustang, my dream car. I had to let some people go. Um, you know, a whole bunch of stuff was just going wrong. And then somebody said, the, uh, a person on my team, who's no longer on my team, said, I think you should stop doing the videos every day. I think you should do it twice a week only at maximum and then just do a better quality, right? So I thought, really, you sure? You think so? Maybe, maybe I should, and, and, and then I did. And then immediately, I felt just depressed. Like that one special thing that I did, I was no longer doing anymore. And I, and I, I was in a funk for a lot of, of the end of last year. It was just like, oh, right? Um, and, um, and that was one thing I wanted to do this year. Is I want to get my mojo back. Like there's so many things I can't control, but I can control doing this each day. And it's something that I really enjoy doing. Now the reason I was upset with myself and the reason I think I was depressed about it was not because they suggested it or even because I did it, but mostly because I listened to the voice of reason, right? He wasn't saying anything that was wrong. He wasn't saying anything that was bad for me. He wasn't trying to, to tank me or anything like that. He was just saying, you know, his opinion. He didn't have a YouTube channel. He didn't have any of that kind of stuff. But it was his opinion. And I thought, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. And sometimes that voice of reason is seductive. The voice of reason says, yeah, the voice of reason is never wrong, by the way. That's the reason why it's so, 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 so seductive. It's like the voice of reason says you should get more sleep. Uh, you shouldn't work so hard. Um, you should, um, you know, maybe you should have, maybe you should just get a job rather than put out an app. All this kind of stuff, people looking after your best interest, and it's something inside you that makes you think, no, I want to do, I want to do more, right? I know it's, you know, and the downside is, is that if you, if you do crash and burn or burn out or whatever, you got that I told you so waiting on the other side, but it's, it's always going to be there and it mainly it's up to you to do it, right? It's almost like if you've ever run a marathon, I've run two marathons and the goal of my, my first marathon I walked after about 16 miles and it was just like this really long walk, right? Because I couldn't get back up to running again. The second time I did it was about 10 years ago and my goal was to not walk at all. And at tw mile 22, that's when my brain went, you could, you know, you only got like four miles left. You could just walk a little bit. And that was it. Like I couldn't get started again, right? I think, so it's, it's like a lot of times the voice of reason, it, it makes total sense. Um, and you just have to like, if it's not in line with what you want to do, if you want to do more than, than reasonable, then you have to push yourself harder. I know I'm kind of rambling on a bit here. And another example is if you've ever fasted, like last year I thought it was good. I wanted to do a three day fast and I, I did it for a day and a half till everybody started saying, 
You don't need to fast, not you. You're, uh, you're already slim. I'll eat something, eat something. And you're like, because you're like, you want to eat. Like you don't want to think about food at all. And then finally you go, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, that's reasonable. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're probably right. And then you eat something and you're like, God, why did I do it? I was, all I had to do was stay away from all people. Anyway, that's what I want to talk about today. First of all, to pat myself on the back for not missing a day this month. And uh, also to talk about the voice of reason. I'll, all of everyone who's watching this channel is trying to produce an app or do their own business or do something special and the voice of reason is always going to be there's always going to get in the way but it's not it's the people looking after you people looking out for you looking after your best interests but it's what you want to do that you have to push ahead for and sometimes you can't explain it to them so let me know what you guys think what's the big voice of reason you guys always hear that you have to ignore uh, and uh, that's it for today I'll talk to you guys again on Monday <laughs>